Hey, welcome back and in today's video we're gonna be talking about the Amber Leo situation where she reacted to a man being detained by police uh, for eating a sandwich. She said some uh, very offensive things. We're gonna look into that today on exploring the internet. If you're unfamiliar, Amber Josephine Liu, known professionally as Amber or Amber Liu, is an American singer, rapper, songwriter. She debuted as a member of the South Korean girl group FX in September of 2009. Amber was a guest on YouTube channel Just Kidding News where they react to viral videos. Uh, she was reacting to a clip of a man being detained by the police on a train platform. Let's look into that. I'm not going to jail for eating a f***ing sandwich. No, for resisting arrest. I'm not resisting arrest. You are resisting arrest. I haven't done anything wrong. I haven't done nothing wrong. I've done nothing wrong. Um, so apparently it's against the law uh, to eat on this train platform. But I want to I show you guys something. As you can see, right behind him, in the uh video here right behind him there's this dude walking down the stairs uh with what looks like a coffee which is illegal in the train platform too and then you're gonna see uh people walking by with bags of food uh as well right here now i don't know the full context of this video but from where it picks up from it looks like this cop just walks straight up to him starts questioning him about eating the sandwich tries to arrest him well it is illegal uh on this train platform to eat food at all. I looked up the BART rules here. Uh, BART does stand for uh, Bay Area Rapid Transit. And uh, it says, smoking, eating, drinking, or using music video players without headphones is not permitted in stations or on trains. Violation of BART rules may lead to a citation and a fine. The man in the video eating his sandwich is Stephen Foster, and he's already taken steps to file a civil rights lawsuit, saying that he felt singled out by the white BART police officer for doing something that everyone else was doing, a violation that seems to be rarely enforced. This actually sparked a lot of controversy to the point where BART riders held an E-in to protest the incident. I got my, my lunch here, uh, uh, obviously very threatening, as you can see. Law or not, Kelly Groth was passing out breakfast sandwiches today for what she called brunch on BART. People should be able to eat on the platforms and not get harassed. So I wanted to make sure that I showed up and stood in solidarity and ate on this plaza, which I've done hundreds of times and I've watched hundreds of people do all the time, and show that what they did was beyond embarrassing for BART police. After facing backlash, the BART general manager issued an apology that says, BART general manager Bob Powers issued the following statement. Moving 415,000 riders each day comes with complexities and there are laws in place to keep our system safe, welcoming, and clean. I've seen the video of the incident involving a man eating on our platform and our police response. Eating in the paid area is banned and there are multiple signs inside in every station saying as much. As a transportation system, our concern with eating is related to the cleanliness of our stations and system. This was not the case in the incident at Pleasant Hill Station on Monday. The officer asked the rider not to eat while he was on the platform responding to another call. It should have ended there, but it didn't. Mr. Foster did not stop eating, and the officer moved forward with the process of issuing him a citation. The individual refused to provide identification, cursed at, and made homophobic slurs at the officer, who remained calm through the entire engagement. The officer was doing his job, and context is key. Enforcement of the infractions such as eating and drinking inside our paid area should not be used to prevent us from delivering on our mission to provide safe, reliable, and clean transportation. We have to read each situation and allow people to get where they're going on time and safely. I'm disappointed how the situation unfolded. I apologize to Mr. Foster, our riders, employees, and the public who have had an emotional reaction to the video. I've spoken to our intern police chief about my feelings related to the incident and our independent police auditor is conducting an independent investigation. He will report his findings to our citizens review board. So there's a little bit more context there. I think there's a few disconnects here as to why Amber's statements on the matter caused outrage and point to a bigger issue. But before we get into that, let's look at the now deleted video from Just Kidding News where Amber said 
this. He deserved it, dude. I think he just fucking deserved it because, dude, he's just being super disrespectful. It's like, you don't have to act like that toward a police officer. Like, a police officer is a police, a police officer. You should still show some type of respect. Mm -hmm. Know your rights, but show some type of respect. Yeah, but that's going to a yeah. touchy area because um, I think culturally we don't understand what the black community goes through. So they uh, respond way different to officers than we do. They're tired of it. This is very contradictory of an apology she issued on Twitter saying, I'm so sorry I saw the video clip and made an ignorant snap judgment and I majorly messed up. It was my fault for not being more aware of how the systematic racism in the United States has continued and gotten worse while I spent the last 10 years overseas. I 100% do not stand for racism or discrimination. It angers me that he was singled out because of the color of his skin. It is completely unjust, and I am so sorry for not seeing the whole situation and jumping to a conclusion. I'm sorry for hurting you guys. I've always stood for equality. I've always stood for love. I believe in Black Lives Matter, and I'm so sorry for negatively affecting so many people because of my ignorance and I will continue to educate myself on this matter. She says she has no prior knowledge of how systematic racism has developed in the United States because she's been overseas the last 10 years. Yet in video, she shows knowledge of this. On a July 14th video of this year, she says, Yeah, I think like with especially with how the media already like titled the article, it makes it a race game and it's just like, well, uh, Wesley, right? The black guy. Yeah. Wesley was like, it's because of my race I'm judged like this, and then the super disrespectful. Which guy? Like the the the, the sandwich man? Guy. Like yeah, I get like it's not serious, exactly. but it's like yeah. you're being like you could have been like, officer. Like what did I do? Like because there's that he was like provoking police brutality thing that are going on. It's like you you pull over a guy because of their skin color, but then they're just like legit like I want to know why I'm pulled over. Please uh, let me know, sir. And then like the cop will go crazy. But this cop was just like, bro, like you're not supposed to. What you're not supposed to be eating? Is that what it was? Is so, that really a law? You can't. To me, this does demonstrate at least some understanding of the current condition, and makes me feel like she was a little bit dishonest in her apology. And I believe making things worse for Amber is just kidding news co-host Joe Jitsukawa. I'm sorry if I've mispronounced that. Where he tweets in anger. You guys need to lay off Amber. The beauty about JK News is the discussion. When you SJWF faces expect everyone to already know and circle J discussions, there's no chance to actually teach anything. Amber lived half of her life overseas. How the heck is she, is she going to know? These niche American cultural woes, you are a bunch of... Mm. and expecting whole GD world to understand our matters. My explanation is good example on how to have a discussion when someone might not know something. Unlike you, blank, and immediately cancel and burn. You need to change the way you approach someone who had an honest opinion about a situation. Not everyone is supposed to know everything before they speak. Stop thanking me for schooling, Amber. That's uh, what the effing discussion is, you morons. I don't think that this was a good approach at all. I can completely understand him wanting to stand up for his friend, uh, but the way he's approaching users on Twitter is not very appropriate for the situation. There's a couple responses here. I call people I love uh, R word. Um, shut up, you sensitive B. Are you even okay? Um, it's just not a good look. On one hand, he's getting upset with people for not taking the time and patience to understand, while on the other, he's not taking the time and patience to understand. In my opinion, I don't believe that Amber meant to come off as racist, and it was just more of not really understanding the full situation, and I think it would benefit this YouTube channel, Just Kidding News, to maybe go over the context of the situations before they have their guests react to them. I think this would uh, help a lot. I also believe that Amber was dishonest in her apology. Uh, I think she's knows more about racial tensions in the United States than she's letting on. Uh, I'm gonna put all the links in the description so you guys can fully form your own opinions. Don't be pushed in any direction that about anything that I've said here because as interesting as this is, there's always something that's more interesting to me. That's right, you guessed it. I wanna know what you think. So why don't you go ahead and leave your creative and interesting responses in the comment box below. Thumbs up for those likes as always, brothers and sisters. I will see you in the next video. <laughs> uh, this is the the new uh, Ghost Chili shirt. I wore it, man. And let me tell you, it gave me the confidence that I needed to get through this video. 
it feels real good uh if you guys want this shirt and you want to support uh artists and stuff like that uh i'll put the link in the description below because it's another way to show that you're repping if you're not repping you're gagging and how you do that i'll get a subscribe notification channel be in the comment section of every single video because i'm going to be there greg the cat's going to be there and the rest of the Soccer community as well and i expect to see you there too because this channel loves you oh yeah